Iran has unveiled a new sophisticated drone in the exhibition of Iranian-made drones attended by its defense chief. During the ceremony, held on Saturday in Tehran, Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani said the production of highly advanced drones in the Islamic Republic shows its determination to realize the slogan we can. Ashtiani said undoubtedly, the U of industry is one of the strengths of Iran when it comes to increasing the nation's cloud and its capability to defend itself against adversaries. He said about four decades have passed since the formation of this industry in Iran, adding that in the 43rd anniversary of the Islamic Revolution, Iranians are witnessing the flourishing of the drone industry and the emergence of new operational achievements in this field. Referring to global trends and regional conflicts as well as different generations of weapons and combat hardware, Ashtiani said the role of drones in war theaters and various intelligence and operational missions is undeniable. Ashtiani maintained that Iran intends to develop this highly strategic product as one of the important pillars of superior defense intelligence and reliability in various battlefields. He however noted that Iran has a long way to go to reach the pinnacle in the sphere. Commander of the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps Ground Force Brigadier General Mohammad Pakbar said Iran enjoys high-tech drones with advanced capabilities, including precision striking armament. Our military drones can target any needed point, General Pakbar said on the sidelines of military drills named the Great Prophet 17 on Wednesday. He reiterated that Iran has updated its tactical doctrine corresponding to new threats. General Pakbar said that Iran's defense system has now been equipped with missiles with pinpoint accuracy thanks to efforts by the Iranian experts. The Great Prophet 17 drills kicked off on Monday in the southern Iranian coastlines in Khuzestan, Bushehr, and Hormuzgan provinces. IRGC Commander Brigadier General Abbas Nilfaraushan announced the start of massive wargams, dubbed as Payambari Azam 17 in the southern parts of Iran on Monday. General Nilfaraushan, also the spokesman of the exercises, said that the drills will be held for five days on the shores of the Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormuz, and the general area of Hormozgan, Bushehr, and Khuzestan provinces with participation of the IRGC ground, naval, and air force units, as well as some units of the Basaj, volunteer, forces. The drills have already begun in order to increase the level of combat readiness of the IRGC by using the most advanced equipment and tactics to deal with perceived threats and hybrid wars, he added. General Nilfaraushan referred to the diversity and multiplicity of participating forces and units, saying that exercising how to confront different spectrums of threat will be operational for the first time in these wargams. The drills are being held over one month after the Iranian army ended joint military wargams, dubbed Zulfaker 1400, in Makran region in the southern parts of the country, after achieving all planned objectives. During the ceremony in the presence of Iranian Army Commander Major General Said Abdolrahim Masavi and a number of other senior commanders of Iran's army as well as observers from Qadim al Anbiya Defense Base, a variety of surface and subsurface vessel units of the Navy, including destroyers, missile launchers, and submarines of Tarek and Qatar class marched and showcased their strength and power. In this ceremony, the fighter jets and aircraft of Iran's Army Air Force accompanied the surface and subsurface units. Spokesman of the exercises Rear Admiral Said Mohammad Masavi said that the drills were wrapped up after the implementation of various military plans in an area covering more than 1 million square meters. He added that all plans and goals have been materialized, noting that showing the capacities and capabilities of the Islamic Republic of Iran as an effective component in ensuring the security of the region were among the achievements of the Zulfaker 1400 military drills. The Iranian army started the first day of the main phase of the Zulfaker 1400 joint drills on Sunday with the Air Force's F-4 bombers destroying ground targets with optimized missiles. 
the Iranian Army Air Force's F-4 bombers carried out long-range flights from their bases to the general zone of the exercises and conducted air refueling operations from the tanker aircraft, destroying ground targets of the hypothetical enemy with optimized missiles, including a new generation of optimized air-to-surface missiles in the general zone of the wargams.